Welcome back to the Sports Renegades here on SportsTownChicago.com. I'm Ryan Stupridge. And I'm Ryan Risky. And the Cubs have tied the game. John Jay bounced into a fielder's choice to tie it at eight. And they head to the ninth inning. Yeah. Uh, and they're they're uh, hanging in there. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty exciting game. The Wilson-Contreras game, especially if we can do something in the ninth inning. Then, uh, th- then it would really be the Wilson-Contreras game. Well, it'll be him and Rizzo and Schwarber do up in the ninth. Who knows? Maybe the Diamondbacks score one, take a 9-8 lead, and Contreras wins it with a two-run. Rizzo walks, Contreras homers, game over. That would be something. That that would be great. Uh, meanwhile, the Sox are losing 6-2 to two in Boston. Um, yeah, we said that, that they were going to score some runs, but... Uh, it looks like uh, Miguel, Miguel Gonzalez uh, uh, his, uh, is not doing good. Yeah, which he's been one of their better starters recently. They have not gotten good starting pitching. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, it It's pretty crazy the the way that it's going for them, but that's uh, what they chose to do. It's kind of Rick Hahn's show now, obviously. Uh, I think Kenny Williams really doesn't have a say anymore, so... So that's um, you know a, a positive thing for them to move in the right direction, and uh, yeah, we'll see we'll see how they are come come twenty nineteen twenty twenty. We'll see how they're doing. Yeah, yeah, and I mean it, the crosstown series should be fun in a few years when the Sox start calling up. I mean Mancata is here. I'm sure Reynaldo Lopez is not far behind. Michael P- Kopech will probably be at Triple A soon. Um, yeah, it'll be like it was in uh, 07, 08 when both teams were pretty competitive. Right, and well, in 08 the Sox were bad, and the Cubs won the series five one. Yeah, well, it, I, I mean, like yeah. in in 08 they were both in the postseason. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, I thought you said 07, 08. Um, yeah, 08 was um, that was yeah. Oh, that was the year they both swept the series at home. Yeah, um, around the good, yeah, which is the walk off. Yep, at Wrigley for one of those. Yeah, and I remember the year before the Cubs won at five one. Oh wow! And the the Sox made or the Sox were really bad that year. Yeah. Um, and they, I mean, it could be fun. I you kind of wonder though, will Lucas Giolito get a call up in September to try to work with Don Cooper, or has he just been so bad they're gonna keep him down there? And I, I don't rest? know. I, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know what you do. Point. Like it seems like he's getting almost getting worse with every start. Yeah, like I mean, I mean, maybe he's not. You know, it's not like he's allowing. You know, it's not like a five innings, five runs, and then two innings, eight runs. <laughs> it's allowed. It's more of he's not getting better. He's not showing progress. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I don't and know. And that's concerning because he was very good up until his call up last year to the major leagues, and then he was not. He was, in two starts. He was very bad. Then he was sent down to back to AAA. And he never regained his form. Yeah, it, it's it's um, I I mean there there's not much to say about them because you know they're they're not supposed to be good, but uh, yeah, you know a lot of these guys hopefully will pan out for them because I mean they kind of gave up a lot to get these prospects and these young guys to develop and everything, and, and you just got to hope that the right people are in place in the Sox organization to make that happen. Yeah, and, and developing these guys because, as I said earlier, the White Sox are not drafting and developing these guys. They're not right now. They've been relying on other teams' developmental uh, systems. Yeah, you know, seven of their eight top one hundred players were acquired in trades. The other one was signed. Luis Robert was signed as an international free agent when they had ten in the top one hundred. The Two that dropped out were both drafted by the White Sox, Zach Collins and Carson Fulmer, and both of them are performing below expectations right now. Yeah, they are. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, MLB standings. Uh, currently, just taking taking a look at like you know the postseason picture. Um, the Red Sox are currently a game up on the Yankees uh, in the AL East, and so that's a really interesting race because you got Tampa Bay here. Uh, three and a half back of the of the division lead, Baltimore still you know hanging around. I guess they're they're one under five hundred. They're five and a half back, and Toronto's pretty much out, fifty one and fifty seven. They're eight back. 
So, I mean, when you look at this AL East, do you think Tampa Bay has a chance to make some noise? Because they're only three and a half back. They're three over five hundred. They only have one less loss than the Yankees right now. I do think they have a chance. I don't think they'll win that division. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, yes, their starting pitching is very good. They have a chance. I just think that it, either the Red Sox or Yankees, I think their rosters are a little more talented, and one of them is going to pull away, or even both of them could pull away a little quicker. Although the one thing Tampa Bay will have going for them, if they make the playoffs, which I think they will, is having be, being able to start Chris Archer in that wild card game. Yeah, that could be huge. Um depending on who they're playing. If they play somebody like Kansas City, which doesn't really have as strong a pitching, uh, if they play somebody like Seattle, which doesn't have as strong a pitching. So I agree with you there. I think that I think that would be a huge advantage for them. Right. I, the AL wild card is going to be fun to watch because you have you had a lot of teams that were just teams that surprisingly were kind of but were not selling, like the Royals and the Mariners. You know, they right. want to make the playoffs, if, and they're not that far out. Tampa Bay and the Yankee. He's are also in that wild card hunt. Texas, you know, they they had a chance. Anson, I think I don't they, you know, know they, what happened. Man. They I think this last, you know, this kind of, you know, this last stretch where they weren't winning was kind of the thing. Where it was, whereas John, their general manager John Daniels, said, you know, even though we traded Darvish, we expect to re- we intend to try to re-sign him in the off season. Well, we'll see if they, if they can do that. I, I have a feeling they're not going to be able to do that, but we'll see. Yeah, it, it, it depends what direction the Rangers decide to go in because I feel like they're in one of the worst spots where you don't really have the pieces to sell to try to jumpstart a rebuild a little quicker. Is Adrian Beltre going to retire too? Right. Is he going to retire? Question. They don't really have the pieces to you know try to quick start a rebuild, get some young talent, develop them quickly. You know, They don't really have the pieces to trade right now. And also, they don't really have the talent at the major league level. Their roster is not deep enough, specifically their pitching staff, to make a deep run in October, should they have even made the playoffs. So they'll be an interesting team to watch uh, in the offseason. The AL wild card right now, if it ended today, it would be Kansas City at the New York Yankees. Uh, Tampa Bay is only a half game back of the wild card. Seattle, uh, which I, I believe in the beginning of the season we predicted. I predicted. Yeah, um, my AL wild card was Seattle, and uh, I know I had Seattle, and I had them winning and moving on to the DS. I, I believe it was Seattle, and wouldn't have been Houston. It, 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 it we I, both had. Oh, I know what it was. It was Seattle and Toronto. Say so we both we both had the Astros winning that division. Yes. My wild card prediction, this one looks really bad. I had the <laughs> Rangers over the Mariners, and I actually had the Cubs over the Rangers in uh, the World Series. Uh yes, I had Cubs over Red Sox, I believe. Uh yeah, that that yeah, but uh my Seattle pick for the wild card still hanging in there. They're they're game and a half yeah. back. Yeah, and I mean, I mean the offense really isn't the issue, it's the pitching. Right. It's not it's not a deep enough staff you saw they add you know they added, uh, you know a couple relievers at the deadline, and you know it, it's going to be fun. And you know they're they're trying to you know, and they're kind of in the same spot as the the Rangers. You know, some bad contract. Uh, the Rangers don't really have as many bad con- don't have the bad contracts like, you know, that Cano one's going to get pr- bad in a few years. Mm-hmm. Um, they don't really have the pieces to sell to try to jumpstart a rebuild quicker. Uh, so it's just kind of let's see what this group can do, try to end our postseason drought, and then go from there. And the Royals, I, I you know, a couple weeks ago, I thought they were just going to sell because they had the pieces like Hosmer, Moustakis, Jason Vargas. Yeah, they could have gotten some, some Escobar. really good things back for those players. It's, 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 yeah, Moustakis is one I think they could have gotten something good for. He, 30 home runs, um, except their general manager, Dayton Moore, said – we want to give this one fine. We want to give this group one final postseason push. Yeah, and which, so far it's know, paid off. And, and, you know, and the thing is, they'll be getting draft picks for Mustakis and Hosmer if they don't re-sign them, which won't be the worst thing. You know, they added Melky Cabrera to bolster the offense and the outfield depth, and also Lorenzo Cain. That's another free agent. That's another guy they could have gotten something for another guy they'll get a draft pick for in the offseason if they don't re-sign um you know I, I don't know if their bullpen will be strong enough to go deep enough into october you know to make it you know if they make it uh you know into that wild card game it 
could be very tough. Um, so if you were looking at your revised uh, wild card for the American League, what would it be right now? If I were to pick, I would, I would probably who facing who? I would probably have the Yankees in Tampa Bay. Yankees in Tampa Bay. I would have. Yeah, I think Boston's going to win the division. I, 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 I would have. Um, I'm going to go Yankees in Seattle. I'm I'm sticking with my Seattle pick. They're kind of a team that you can you just want to see them make the playoffs. I know they you know, they're the they, only team that has not been to the World Series. If they make the playoffs, then the White Sox will have the longest postseason drought. <laughs> not, not, that yeah. is something. That yeah, and they just um, won the World Series in 2005, and the, the, they went to the playoffs. They made the in playoffs LA. once since that World Series title. <sighs> That's crazy, but yeah, it, when you, I mean, when you think about it, yeah. The, that would be right. Right. Uh, I, you know, I think that's kind of a, you know, Dayton Moore's, do, you know, the going back to the Royals. I think he's doing it, you know, just to try to, because I think he realizes it could be another long process before they get it right again with the young players to try to make another World Series run. Yeah. Um, and I think he just, he wants to give it one more go before finally. they start, because you know they're going to probably be in a rebuild after this, because they won't have the money to keep uh, Mustakas, Hosmer, and Kane. Yeah, probably not. So they're giving them one final chance, and who knows? Maybe they can make a good postseason run. Um, the thing that will hurt them, though, is their bull. As I said, the bullpen. And, you know, they don't have you know Wade Davis and Greg Holland anymore. They're yeah. both close, which is kind of funny that their seventh and eighth inning guys that World Series year are now closing on other teams. I know it's pretty crazy to think that they were able to to go to other teams and still have you know good that shows success. how good that bullpen was. I know. Elect- like was like, I mean, it was shut all down. All you in needed was your starters to go like five, six innings, and then just bring in go ho- or go Herrera, Davis, Holland. Yeah, it, it was pretty impressive. Uh, one other team I want to talk about in the American League before we go to break is the Angels. The Angels are three back of a wild card right now. They're not going to win their division, but they're three back of a wild card right now. Do, do you see anything going for them? I mean, Trout's back, which is nice. Um, the offense is decent. The pitching isn't there, really. Uh, there, there's been a lot of injuries, of course. Um, I don't think so. How do you so. feel about them? The, ro- the bullpen is, isn't, is you know, very – the bullpen's not the worst, except it's not good enough. I don't think it'll be good enough down the stretch. They don't really have depth in the minor leagues for when rosters expand to potentially get some help, you know, that you can count on. Um, and I, I, the roster's just not deep enough. The pitching staff isn't. You do have Mike Trout. I just don't think the roster's deep enough. And they're in another tough spot because they have some bad contracts and the best player in baseball and a bad farm system to determine, you know, what their course of action will be in the off season. Yeah, I just feel bad for their Trout. Retool? Yeah, yeah, you really do. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. We'll come back. We'll talk about the National League. We'll give you an update on the Cubs. I believe they're in a... Yet a third delay. They are in another rain delay. Hey, maybe Jason Hayward will call a team meeting. (laughs) The Cubs have to win this game after all this crap that's been happening today. they got to win this game, and uh, hopefully they will. The Brewers won, so the Cubs do need to win. Yeah, otherwise it'll only be a game and a half. we got to keep it at uh, two and a half. So hopefully uh, the Cubs will pull through. We'll talk about all that coming up next. Sports Renegade, SportsTownChicago.com.